Of all of the mysteries that have tortured scientists for centuries, the one that is by far the most bizarre to me is that to this day, we still don't know where eels come from. Or more accurately, how eels make there be more eels. You heard me correctly. We have been to the moon, and yet we still do not know how eels sexually reproduce. And even weirder than that, what little we know about the reproductive cycle involves the Bermuda Triangle, and I couldn't even make that up. Okay, so freshwater eels, or anguilla anguilla, are really weird creatures. First of all, if you dissect one and you look inside, you will not find sexual organs. There are not eggs, there is not sperm or testicles, there are no sexual reproductive organs that have ever been observed inside of an eel while it's being dissected. Secondly, if you take eels and you put them together, even if you put on Marvin Gaye, they will not have sex with each other. We have never observed eels mating in captivity or in the wild. What we do know, and this is where it gets really weird, is that old eels will go from freshwater rivers out into the saltwater ocean, which we'll talk about how crazy that is in a second, then they will go to the Bermuda Triangle, and then new eels will come back. I swear to God I'm not making that up, you can Google this. This is a mystery, by the way, that has plagued humans for a very, very long time. Aristotle, like the famous philosopher, thought that eels spontaneously emerged from mud out of some magical force or something. Also, the transition that an eel undergoes between its earliest stage that we know about, the larva stage, and the full-grown adult stage involves so many different metamorphical changes to its body, including its shape and its color and its physical abilities, that for a very long time, people on Earth, like European naturalists, thought that the different stages of eel development were completely different animals, and they didn't put that together for a really long time. Now, of course, we know they're all stages of development of the same Anguilla Anguilla freshwater eel, but still super weird. Also, let's just take a second to talk about how weird it is that eels can go from freshwater to saltwater and back. Basically, no other sea-bearing animal can do that. If you take a normal freshwater fish and throw it in the ocean, it is definitely going to die. This, this tortures me. I lie awake at night thinking about this. I wake up in the morning, first thing I think about, before I even open my eyes, where the fuck do eels come from, okay? So now you have to live with this information too. Thank you. Bye-bye.